Hi everybody, this is CJ from York and North Yorkshire Mesma. I'm just going to talk very quickly about some online safety tips if you are meeting people through platforms or websites at the moment. So if you're in lockdown, like I think the majority of us are, um, and you're chatting to somebody new on Grindr, Squirt, Scruff, Fab Guys, Tinder, all these other platforms, then um, always think carefully before sending photos, particularly if they're of an intimate nature. Uh, once you've sent a photo, it's no longer in your possession, it's no longer in your control, and that person can pass it on to somebody else so they can share it publicly. It's always best getting to know someone um, better before sending dick pics so that we can be sure that person is genuine. If you don't want to wait around, you want to get straight down to sending pictures, um, then there's some good tips that you can do to help protect your privacy. So don't give that person too many details before sending them anything. Um, don't give them too many details before you've met them in person. Um, don't provide your full name, don't say where you work, and definitely don't provide them with your, your home address. Um, at this time of isolation, many people are using video call platforms to meet with friends and family. Um, and these same platforms can also be used when we uh, want to meet people that we've been chatting to online as well. So remember though that just because you're meeting someone online doesn't mean that you need to change how you would act in real life. Um, do it at a time that you're comfortable with. Do it at a pace that you're comfortable with. Um, the same personal boundaries that we use in real life um, should also apply to virtual meets as well. So don't do anything that you don't want to do. Um, don't feel pressured into doing something that you wouldn't normally like or acting in a way that you don't feel comfortable with. Um, consent is still completely important even when we're in lockdown and even when we're using these virtual platforms. Also look out for scams. So sadly people still are setting up fake profiles uh, on Grindr and other places at the moment, sending scam messages. So if you do get messages from somebody asking for money, asking to click on some strange looking link, um, asking that you know they may be requiring help and can you go over and help them for something. Um, sadly, uh, a lot of these may be a scam or even something worse. So it's best to block and report those profiles if you get messages from them. Likewise, if you get a message from the most gorgeous, mysterious stranger you've ever seen, but the way that they speak in their messages seems a little bit weird or robotic, like it's been copy and pasted, um, then sadly that too might be a scam or a fake profile. So again, just use your instinct. Um, some people might want to try and persuade you to meet up with them, to hook up in person during this time, and we would strongly encourage against this. While we are in the middle of this big worldwide pandemic, we believe that we need to do everything in our power to help to end it, to um, to protect you know our friends and family's lives, and to protect the NHS here in the UK. So as hard as we know it is, that extends to not meeting up in person. If someone is persistent and making you feel uncomfortable, then you can talk to us at Mesmac for, for support around that. And while we shouldn't be meeting new people or hooking up physically at the moment, that situation will likely change in the, um, in the coming months. And so it's likely that you'll want to meet some of the people that you've maybe been chatting to on platforms recently, um, finally in person when, when we're able to. But when meeting people for the first time, it's best to do it in a public place, somewhere that you know we're comfortable with, we're familiar with, um, and somewhere that you can get home from easily if you need to. It's maybe worth telling a friend as well that you're going to meet somebody new. And I remember, just follow, follow your instinct, follow your gut. Um, if something doesn't feel right with meeting somebody, um, then, then don't stick around, listen to your instincts. Um, and please remember as well that this is only for when lockdown is lifted to a point where people can hook up again. Um, at the moment, we are still saying, stay home, stay safe, and um, keep chatting to people online, but do it in a, in a good and safe way. Okay, thanks. If you want some more information, you can find it on our website, or um, feel free to, to chat to your local Mesmat worker as well for any, any information or support. Okay, thanks.